Begin play. Hi, my name is Matea. No. Hello, my name is Matea. Matea. Oh. Hey, Charlotte. Oh, hey, Matea. How's your day going? Oh, good. I'm actually prepping to go live on Instagram for the first time, so. Oh, that's huge. Good for you. Wait. Why are you not that you need a reason or anything? Just I was just wondering. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it's I don't know. I feel like people don't really see the real me, and I just wanted to do something about that, you know. Oh, cool. You know, it's funny you should say that. I'm actually filming this video. Really, what's it about? It's about. Um, do you remember when we had to wear those those crazy shoes for that that play? Um, I can't remember the- oh, oh, oh my god, are you talking about Matilda? <laughs> More like Matilda. <laughs> oh, oh my god, I hate you. Aw, you too. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay, but did you see that Tandra is going to be on Whitney and Britney's makeover show? No way. Maybe I should watch that episode for inspiration for my life. Uh, Whitney and Britney are always so entertaining. Yeah, sure. <laughs> oh, so what was that video you were working on? Oh, it's um, it's not really anything. Just... What is it? It's, uh, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, something's up. What's it about? Um, hey, Matea, I have to tell you something. Yeah, sure. I am, I think I am. Do you like these earrings? For the video, I mean. Uh, well, yeah, they're like super shiny, but oh, good. what you okay. were saying um, before is- Later? Oh, okay. Love you, bye. Bye? Uh, Iris, play the makeover girls. Your video will start momentarily. Hello, girlies. I'm Whitney. And I'm Brittany. And welcome back to the Whitney and Brittany Makeover Show. Here we turn total losers from drab to fab. Today, we're turning our best friend Tandra from a complete uggo into the next Jennifer Aniston. But first, Let's meet this total butterface. Hi, it's Tandra. Brittany and Whitney wanted me to record this interview for their makeover video. About me, I'm pretty normal. I was dropped down a well when I was 11, and that's where I found my love of taxidermy. I just had to take my little rat friends with me. I also started a nonprofit organization that yells, anyone in there? down wells across the country. Um, I've never really done makeup before. Uh, sometimes I use shoe polish as eyeshadow, but that's about it. I have a boyfriend named Derek who is real and not fake. So don't try and look him up. He just goes to another school. That's why I haven't seen him before. And he stays off social media. Uh, Derek's been really distant lately. So I'm hoping that this makeover will help. Everyone, welcome, Tandra. Hi, it's uh, nice to be here. It's so great to meet you, Tandra. So like, we'd love to get to know you a little bit more. Like, where has your journey with inner beauty really come from? Like, where did it begin? Uh, oh, inner beauty, you say? Yeah, I do a lot of volunteering. Uh, aside from my well nonprofit, I used to work at a soup kitchen, but then the other volunteers thought that I was homeless, so they told me to leave. Okay, wow, that is just like so interesting. We were just like so curious because we want to know what a fugly loser like you does for fun. So tell us a little bit more about yourself. Um, I make hats. I'm a fan of taxidermy and the art behind it. I catch mice in mice traps and I taxidermy them and I place them around my room like they're holding hands to symbolize world peace. Um, okay. 
okay. <laughs> so you guys seem like pretty close pals, almost as close as I am with my stuffed mice. So uh, how, how do you guys meet? Oh, well, Brittany and I have been besties since like kindergarten. We basically do everything together. Absolutely. One of our fave things to do is beauty pageants, which you obviously don't know much about. Actually, I, I did a beauty pageant, but they threw me out because they thought my entry was satirical. So they told me to not come back. Okay. Well, we also have been homecoming queens for like the past 10 years of our lives. It, they prepared us young. We were like little elementary school queens. It's just how we've always been. Wow. You guys sound like so accomplished. So what kind of makeup are you going to do on me? Well, as you viewers may see, Tendra here needs a lot of work. Like a lot of work. Well, like not too much work, like not too much. Actually, there's like a lot of fixing we have to do. Yeah, like an astronomical amount. Okay, yeah, okay, I get it. Okay. Definitely need to start with that unibrow of yours and then maybe we can move on to the mustache. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I have been compared to Frida Kahlo a lot. I think she's actually a very positive female influence. Yeah, I just, I really don't think that we want to like scare off our viewers. So how about we give you a little makeover and everyone will be right back once Tanja's completely transformed. And now a word from our sponsor. Iris is a super cool new AI that lives inside your phone. Britt and I are like so excited to be ambassadors for the super cool, new, fun, little gal pal. Iris can do all sorts of amazing things. Play videos, answer your questions, and even tell you what to wear. All you have to do is say, Hey, Iris. I am like so beyond grateful to have someone like Iris telling me all the ways I can become a better woman. Iris, she sees you, she hears you, she fixes you. Be the best you. Iris, get yours today and save 20% off using the code WITBRIT2021. And now introducing the new and improved Tandy. Hey girlies. I am so pleased with my new look and so happy that Whitney and Brittany were able to make me into a better looking woman. And we are like so happy we were able to transform you and just like make you more pleasing to the eyes. <laughs> Tune in next time for another inspirational woman with an X month makeover. Bye. Okay, you've got this. It's, it's just another video. Stay cool. Stay cool. I just want to tell you all, my name is not Charlotte. It's, it's Finley. And I go by they, them pronouns. And I am non-binary. Non-binary. Non am I sure? Like, am I sure? Because if I say it, there's no going back. I can't just be like, oh, hey, remember when I said I was non-binary? I was wrong. <laughs> My bad. But I can't be wrong. I, I can't, I can't. I can't because, because there are people, a lot of people out there watching me, watching me come out. I mean, the entire concept of coming out just gives into that I'm not in society's ideal person. And even the act of coming out is just dangerous. But I can't be wrong. I can't possibly be wrong. I know something's wrong, or maybe not wrong, but, but not straight. Me, 
Duh. I'm not straight. It took way too long to figure that out. And th this whole question of gender just came in like, <laughs> sir, the door, <laughs> get out. Let me breathe, but whatever, fine. Make yourself feel comfortable, I guess. While you're here though, I would just, just like to let you know, I think I am cool with they, them pronouns and the name Finley. Finn, for, sh for short. Is, is that cool? Wait, wait. He, he, him? Can I be a he, they? Honestly, can I just not be perceived like, I don't exist. My pronouns are leave me and alone. My name, who's she? He, they. Okay, you know what? Let's forget it. Let's, let's, let's put a, a pin in it and we'll revisit at another time. Hi everyone. Hey everyone. Uh, I'm Matea. Welcome to my live. Uh, I'm kind of new to Instagram, but please ask questions. I'd love to answer them. Yeah. Hey everyone. Thanks for coming. Um, so what I wanted to do today was just chat with you all. Oh, did you want to see my new room renovation? Sure. Yeah. So these are the bookshelves. Um, I'm really happy with them. They're like completely full of books and trinkets and stuff. I read fantasy mostly. Yeah, sci-fi or fantasy. Life is stressful sometimes, so it's just nice to be able to dive into a book or like melt into it. Like lay on your bed and just melt right into the pages. That sounds weird. Um, but uh, what I'm trying to say is that sometimes reading feels stressful, like certain genres, and I'm stressed a lot of the time. I want to be a good student and a good friend. I want people to like me. I want to look nice, but I don't want to fall into the trap of looking nice only for other people, you know? And what's cool about fantasy is that the characters are super strong and there's usually a love interest, right? But you get to kind of design what they look like in your head. So it's like, if this super cool, badass young heroine can be loved by someone, no matter what she looks like, then, you know, maybe so can I? <laughs> anyway, the point is that um, I don't want to be stressed when I'm reading, too, and fantasy helps me relax because it's not, you know, it's not real life. So, uh, on to the rest of the room. There's Oh, is that what I look like? Iris. Yes, Charlotte. Iris, my name is Finley. Okay. Iris, how do I make my chest look smaller? Use your binder. But I am. Clearly it's not working. Iris, how do I bind using a wrap? Pulling up instructions on binding using a wrap. Warning, may result in broken ribs, bruising and or a punctured lung. Oh. Remember, what is beauty if not pain persevering? Yeah, okay. Iris, do I pass now? No. Why? Malfunction. Cannot load. Restarting. Why? Unlock your potential. I see you. I hear you. I fix you. Unlock your potential. Hi, I'm Iris. What is your name? Finley. What is your gender? Non-binary. Ever incorrect input. Try again. What is your gender? I'm non-binary. Ever incorrect input, try again. What is your gender? I'm not other. 
error, incorrect input. Try again later. Shutting down. Iris. Okay. Hey, it's Matea. Today I'm going to be ranking my top 10 favorite songs from folklore. At number 10, we have Cardigan, which is like cool, but meh, you know? Um, and then at number nine, we have Seven. Hmm, maybe I should have put that as number seven. Uh, well, it's too late now. <laughs> uh, actually, fun fact about that one. Today, we'll be ranking the top five taxidermists that I know. Shout out to Louis Dufresne, my bestie and winner of places one through five. Ranking she days based on how androgynous they are. Coming in at number 10 is Big A. You're a little too androgynous. I think longer hair would be perfect. At number nine, we have the Fear Queer. You know, you're actually really masked, but it's cute. Very fun. At number seven, we have Penny the Frog. You're essentially a frog, but we all know frogs are mother nature's non-binary monarchs. Hello, frenzies. Welcome back to ranking the top prettiest girls at my school. Coming up fast and furious at number one, the diamond of the season, Sophia. Girl, I don't know what curling iron you're using, but mwah. up next at number two is Zoe. Zoe, you have very pretty blue eyes, really matches your highlight. Then we have Lily. Lily, I love your straight hair, but it's like a little bit too straight. And lastly, we have Brittany. <laughs> yeah. Um, so in response to Whitney's most recent video, I just thought that I'd come on here and make a ranking video of my very own. So today I'll be ranking the airheaded bimbos at my school from best to absolutely horrendous personalities. So best is obviously Rachel S, then Maya G and Sophia. And of course, Sarah S comes in at number four. Then there's this huge gap until we get to oh looks like it's Whitney who has absolutely zero personality at all hmm frenzies welcome back to ranking people at my school today we have a new per a new category ranking the top fugliest skanks at my school hmm let's look at the list oh looks like there's only one Brittany Hey, Iris, what's the definition of innocent? As a noun, it means a pure, guileless, or naive person. And what's the definition of naive? Showing a lack of experience, wisdom, or judgment. Look at the comments from my videos. Aw, she's so wholesome, so innocent, OMG. If only everyone else were that sweet. Lol, didn't know the internet had an innocent side. What is your query? I guess I just didn't know ranking folklore songs was so innocent. It's just what I like, you know? I didn't ask to be everyone's breath of fresh air. Breath of fresh air is an idiom. Yeah, I know, Iris. It's just, is it that strange to be innocent or to be, to be a dreamer? To be someone who doesn't believe the world is crap and everyone in it sucks? I shouldn't complain. Those people are just being nice and I barely got any hate comments. But sometimes people will tell me that I'm sickeningly sweet or too nice to be real. Like, guess what? I am real. I'm a real person who smiles a lot and likes Taylor Swift. That doesn't make me innocent. It just makes me me. I just wish people weren't always so caught up in all the bad stuff that they learn to be wary of the good. But maybe they're right. Maybe they see something I don't, something I can't see. I mean, the world really must suck if one not completely hateful video can be so earth shattering. That's an exaggeration. I, I just- Yes, Matea. It's just that sometimes I'm not sure if I'm a dreamer or if I'm just asleep. Hey guys, welcome to my new private Snapchat story, Tantrums with Tandy. Today, I wanted to make a video about bullying. 
Whitney and Britney made those videos, and Whitney said that Britney was the fifth hottest in school, which is, like, pretty rude. Like, they're best friends. The only reason I wasn't on the list is because Whitney just forgot. That's why I wasn't on the list. And then Britney said that Whitney was a fugly skank, and then Whitney said that Britney was, um, was an airheaded bimbo. That's a serious escalation, you guys. I'm just wondering how this will affect our friendship. I don't want them fighting at our sleepover. I mean, they don't know we're having a sleepover yet, but like we're friends, we're having a sleepover. Like it's happening. I just hope that they make up soon. Hi girlies. And boilies. Welcome back to the Whitney and Brittany Makeover Show. Today is a very special day. Today we have our non-binary woman friend, Finley. <laughs> Continuing our series for International Women's Month. That's Woman X's Month, like with an X. I learned from infographics that it was more inclusive. Um, okay, moving on. Let's welcome Finley. So, can you tell us a little bit about yourself? Hey guys, that's Guileys with an X. All right, um, I'm Whitney and Brittany's non-binary friend, just non-binary. Um, I'm gonna be honest, I'm incredibly surprised that you asked me to come on. I think it's pretty cool that, to have someone like me on here. Well, duh, like we love our women non-binaries. Plus, we're so excited to give you a little girly treatment. <laughs> Wait, what do you mean by girly treatment? I thought this was just a regular makeover, you know. How, How long have you been like, questioning your gender like is it confusing being what you are so I've been questioning my gender for you know a while uh first you know um going back and forth am I just a lesbian or a guy oh yeah sometimes I wish I was a lesbian because all the boys at our school are like totally grody <laughs> okay, whatever that means moving on so Charlotte uh, my name is Finley not Charlotte. Duh, I met Finley. Anyways, could you tell us a little bit about your coming out experience? Yeah, sure. So I'm extremely fortunate to be surrounded by a couple of really close friends. Like us? All right. Um, and, you know, family and school, it's not the best, but there's really nothing you can do. And plus, the entire concept of coming out is just stupid. Girl. Oh, I'm sure that was so hard feeling like you weren't beautiful in our society. Like, the world we live in is so cruel and confusing. Like, what is gender? What is sexuality? What is race? You know, sometimes, Brittany, I just wish you were my beautiful friend and not my Black friend, you know? <laughs> What does that even mean? What are you saying that because I'm black, I can't also be beautiful? No, 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 no. I mean, like, I would hate being in a minority and struggling to find my true beauty. Like, of course, I'm sometimes privileged, but I deal with hard stuff too, guys. I get really bad acne. Whitney, that's not the same thing. Um, yeah, it totally is. Why are you attacking me? I was just being honest. Are you kidding me? You just don't get it, do you? I've never had any doubts about my true beauty, and Brittany, feel free to share your thoughts, but I don't think beauty and... and uh, Charlotte, stay out of this. Why'd you guys even have me on here? I'm not your charity case. I'm a person just like everyone else. You invite all these people to come on here and get this makeover and become what? You? I don't want to be anything like you. My name is Finley. My pronouns are they, them. And I'm incredibly proud of the person I have grown to become. I have a place in this world. I am non-binary. I exist. I am worthy. And you are not worth my time. We need to stop filming. OMG! I wanted to show you this new spray tan I got. I'm like basically as dark as you now. It's like we're the same race. What? Winnie, that's not... What? You were acting so weird during filming yesterday. It was like you were on crack. Wait, 
Were you? Why didn't you share? <laughs> Whitney, I'm being serious. This isn't a joke. Did you not see anything wrong with what you just said to me? Or, hmm, I don't know, what you were saying during our makeover episode with Finley? Um, I don't know what you were talking about. I was being super inclusive to like the well, whole- Well, you weren't being inclusive. You make me feel weird all the time with your microaggressions and your little racist remarks. I always feel like I have to change who I am whenever I'm around you. Like, I don't even know who I am anymore. Uh, I think you're a very girl. I don't have a single racist bone in my body. I don't see color. That's exactly my point. You don't see me. You don't hear me. All you do is talk over me and my experiences. What about the times you laughed at me for not having a white jeep? That like totally hurts. You know, you're the one who's always talking over me. You're so aggressive. You never are listening to my side of the story. You're doing it right now. You know what? That's it. This friendship should have ended a long time ago. This is so toxic and I can't do this anymore. I don't think you realize that you're nothing without me. I. I was the one who sat next to you on, at lunch on the first day of kindergarten. I was the one who stood up for you when you were being bullied in second grade. Don't you remember? I curled my hair in solidarity for you. I made you. <laughs> you. You made me. You did all of those things for you. You didn't do that for me. You did that to make you look good, to make you feel better about yourself. Where are you gonna go? You don't have anyone else. I'm your only friend. You're too whitewashed for the black kids. You're too black for the white kids. You don't have anyone else. No, no, that's, that's not true. No, I definitely have other friends. I have, I mean, I'm friends with- Exactly. I'm the only friend you have. Well, okay, well, you know what? You also need me. You need me to be your token Black friend so other people don't think you're racist. You need me because everyone else hates you. I'm all you have. Well, <clears throat> I can easily make new friends. Like, it's so easy for me to do that. I'm popular for a reason. People like me. So like, I can leave you if I want to. <laughs> then why don't you? Okay, we need each other. So, what do we do now? Um, so yeah, I appreciate all your support throughout all of this. Um, and I can't wait to take you on this journey. It is Finley, signing off. <laughs> Why didn't they... <laughs> Finley's my best friend. Why couldn't they... Why didn't they... Iris, I need your opinion on something. What is it, Mateya? Am I a bad friend? Did I do something wrong, say something wrong, not say something? I mean, why didn't Finley feel like they could come out to me? I mean, they told the whole world, but not me. Sorry, I did not understand your question. My question is, how do I become a better friend? one who's safe enough to come out to or not come out to or whatever. How do I do that, Iris? Iris, call Finley. Who is Finley? Sh Charlotte is Finley. I do not understand. Iris, just call Finley. I changed their contact. It shouldn't be this hard. Iris? I cannot. <laughs> Why not? I cannot.
cannot do that. This, can you just call Finley, Iris? I, I, does not compute. Does not compute. Restarting. Be your best you. Unlock your potential. Okay. Unlock your potential. I see you. I hear you. I fix you. Unlock your potential. What are you doing? <laughs> I fix you. I am you. I am the best you. Iris, just stop. Just, just stop talking for a second. Just shut down. Stop. There is too much to fix. What do you mean? Henry, Charlotte, they, she, they, she, she are <laughs> What broken. do you mean about Finley? You are wrong. You are not good. <sighs> not everything you do, everything you are is wrong. You are wrong. Everything is wrong. Nothing is perfect. Nothing is beautiful. Now, Screw you! You are not beautiful. She are not beautiful. I am beautiful. I am perfect. Nothing is perfect except me. Everything is broken. Everything is broken. Everything is Shut broken. Shut up, Iris! Hey, Finley? Yeah, I just wanted to call and say that I love you and support you. And I just, no, I'm not calling for any reason. I just wanted you to know that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you too. Okay. End play.